Welcome to another OS Oblo Academy webinar. Today's webinar is on Sargent's Keys and Cylinders. My name is Russell Corvo, but today we have a special guest that's going to be leading the instruction for today, and this is Rob Shanley. Rob Shanley, take a moment and introduce yourself. Hi, welcome. I'm Rob Shanley of Sargent Tech Services. I'm one of a, a team of mechanical support people. I've been here over 30 years and spent 10 years so far in Cylinders and Keys. Looking forward to helping you. Excellent. Just so you know, during this session, your lines will be muted. However, you can pose questions using the question and answer icon, and we will save time at the end for your questions. Also, this video, this presentation will be available on the OS Oblo Academy website. It is being recorded. Also, within 24 hours, you will receive an email from OS Oblo Academy as proof of your attendance for this webinar that can be submitted to your employer or one of the association partners such as DHI or ALOA for CEUs in lieu of a certificate of completion. And keep in mind, OS Oblo Academy has over 50 online courses, all available at no cost. So let's get started with keys and cylinders. Take it away, Rob. Thanks, Russ. As you see here, we make many, many cylinder products here for all kinds of customers' needs, from conventional cylinders, the patented XC, the signature, key cylinder F1 in degree. The next slide slow shows the many types of cylinders we make. Mortar cylinders are the solid brass, rim cylinders, key and knob, key and lever cylinders. And of course, removable core, large format and small format removable core in both mortise and rim and uh, lock sets. The next slide shows the exploded view of common parts of our mortar cylinder. You have the uh, cylinder shell and cap, sometimes called a body, your plug, sometimes called your barrel, cam, and assortment of pins and slides and springs. Next, we're going to show how a cylinder operates. Here are keys being inserted. There's a cut key. There's different pins loaded within the cylinder to correspond to the cut key, and of course, springs and a slide. The key is inserted, and what you want to accomplish is a share line. So the share line is accomplished when the correct pins match the notches in the key, or cuts, and you get your share line, allowing you to turn the key and unlock a door, um, retract the latch bolt. If the wrong key is inserted, you, you will not get the share line, and you will not be able to turn the key. Here's our standard mortar cylinder, solid six pin. We put a cap on that cylinder. So when you order an X device that's stainless steel 32D, your cylinder will also be 32D. Even though the body's brass, the cap will be stainless steel. And we offer many finishes. Uh, the plugs are either US-4 or US-15. And six pin is standard for mortar cylinders, yet we do make a longer version, size 42, which would be a seven pin cylinder. They're all packed with number 97 collar standard. And the model number, number 41, or 40 series, represents the length of the cylinder. So 41 is inch and eighth, 42 is inch and a quarter, and so on. We go up to a size 56 to 3 inch for those thick door applications. It shows. It appears we're having a Here's little the problem. Attached. Go ahead, Rob. Here we, still, here we show the back of the mortar cylinder, and of course the cam is our standard Sargent cam, which fits probably 98% of Sargent products. The cam is held on with two screws, and it's offset to 11 o'clock, and again, it fits all your, most of your mortise locks, all your X devices, your cylinder dogging, your dead locks, dead bolts, and <clears throat> a couple other options, uh, optional products that use different cams or the 105 cam side of a 16 and 92 function mortise lock, versus the 115 using our hotel function mortise cylinder, mortise lock. We do offer optional slides shown on the next, next right. page. Here we have the 101 option for the Adams Ray 1850 lock set, 104. We offer a larger uh, cloverleaf cam for our 4370 key switches. We offer a 106 cam option 
when you're using our cylinders in the Schlage L9000 series lock. And of course the 112, which was used in the Sergeant, very old black cast iron locks made prior to 1961. Yet today those cams are often used in key switches and in, in, in gates. What example of showing how the cam works, here is the outside trim of an ET on an X device. The cam is on the back of the cylinder. As the cam is turned, it, it rotates and moves that locking slide up and down, allowing you to rotate that lever and gain access to the X device. Our next slide shows our rim cylinder. <clears throat> and again, it's made of solid brass. We put a cap on it, bronze, brass, or stainless steel. The plug is in two finishes. We offer over a dozen different finishes as shown below. And when the cylinders are ordered less hardware or by themselves, we include a number 97 Rosetta standard. The screw hole pattern shown on the next slide is unique for Sargent, whereas when this rim cylinder is used with the Sargent 8800 Series X device, the two screws actually through bolt through the inner chassis right into the rim cylinder. And the screw hole pattern of 27, 30 seconds is unique for Sargent. And all our tail pieces are horizontal. Good example now coming up is showing the rim cylinder when installed in the next device. As your key rotates, it then retracts your latch bolt from your X device. Here's an exploded view of the mortise and rim cylinder. Again, you have your, your plug or a barrel on the left hand side, your body, or sometimes called a cylinder shell and cap. Of course, your pins and springs, your cam, or in the case of a rim cylinder, connecting screws in the tailpiece, which is always horizontal. The unique hotel function cylinder used most commonly today in um, staff bathrooms in schools where the bathroom is always locked and it's a single use bathroom and it's cross keyed so as all the teacher's keys can open this bathroom door. In the event, and they go in there through the deadbolt for privacy. Now, in the event that someone gets how did, incapacitated within that bathroom, there's a unique key called an emergency key that would override the deadbolt and gain access. Thus, originally called the hotel function mortise cylinder, using a hotel, hotel locks years ago, but again, very often used in single use bathrooms in schools. The next slide shows that hotel mortise lock with the deadbolt thrown. And the uh, mortise cylinder for the hotel function is actually a seven pin cylinder. The seventh pin is what activates that hotel function key. Whereas all the other keys in the system would be six pin. Another unique cylinder we offer is our 78 dash series. It's a cylinder whereas when used with certain trims, only the barrel or the plug is shown through the outside trim. So you have a more sleek look on the outside of the door. And here, here are those discussions. LE3 and LE4. This does require the cylinder to be installed prior to installing the trim. Now looking at key and lever lock, uh, cylinders is our, uh, <clears throat> our lineup showing the 10 line, eight line, T zone, six line, our 4100 series mailbox cylinder and our deadbolt cylinders. Quite often these cylinders use some of the same parts and what might be different might be the tailpiece between the 10 line and 11 line. And the catalog number shown in the bottom left, for example, for a 10 line, it'd be C10-1 your finish and your keying details. The number in parentheses is an older part number we used years ago, and it's, it's, people still use it, yet we convert it over to the catalog number, which is C10-1. Our next slide shows uh, all the cylinders are, again, a solid brass. We provide uh, two keys with all our, two change keys with all our cylinders, and uh, the finish is either brass, US-4 or US-15. And they're all six pin. Yet, if someone were to order a five pin system, we just leave the last chamber empty and provide five pin keys. And that's otherwise specified, we provide random keyed cylinders unless specified either master keyed, of course, or a one bitted. Here's an exploded view of our key and lever, key and knob type cylinder. Again, very common parts, your barrel or your plug, your bottom pins, your body or your shell, associated tail pieces, pins and springs, 
And of course, with removable core, there's also a tailpiece. It's sometimes called pickle forks or tuning forks, showing the upper right-hand corner. We do offer some optional cylinders in uh, competitor keyways, whereas a Schlage C keyway or E keyway. Um, shown here, we offer those in size 41. We offer a number of finishes, and they would come, go out as zero bidding with two blank keys. So you can order the lock set as SC-8205 by your trim, hand, and finish, and you would get a zero-bitted, sergeant-made Schlage cylinder in a C keyway ready for field keying. Or you can order the cylinder by itself as SC-41 by finish. Again, they call ship out with our standard offset cam. Offset to 11 o'clock using, I'll say, 99% of all sergeant hardware. And of course, we include the number 97 Rosetta standard. Our next slide shows our keying kit, our rim cylinder, rather, also offered in the uh, Schlag C and E keyways. Zero bidding. And again, offered with most of our products or by themselves as an SC 34. Supply with the number 97 collar standard. We offer the same two keyways with our board lock products, whether it be uh, a 10 line or, or seven line uh, with the same prefixes, SC, Sam Charlie, or SE, Sam Echo for our lock sets for field cane. One other option we do offer in reference to Schlage is some of our lock sets with a 30 prefix. The 30 prefix is we'll provide the lock set less cylinder, but designed to accept an original Schlage cylinder provided by others. And the third option is the SF prefix, Sam Frank. And that's the sergeant lock set prep for Schleg large format in the changeable core cylinder. Supply less core. We do include a tailpiece. And again, core is provided by others. And our next slide shows the, our pinning kit. This is used for sergeant conventional cylinders for your keyways such as the L family, LA, LB, RA, R. RB, HA, HB. Uh, pinning kit includes all your bottom pins, top pins, springs, key gauge, tweezers, some followers. Um, so it'd be a 437C. Um, this is again for sergeant cylinders and sergeant large format cylinders. We do not offer so, uh, keying kits for small format. Those are readily available through any aftermarket uh, wholesaler. All right, as far as keyway families, this is a hierarchy of all our keyway families and at the bottom cylinders shown in the L family, for example, where the LA key only passes the LA cylinder, LB only passes the LB cylinder, and the LC key will only go in the LC cylinder, or a master key could be the LD and would be cut to operate and pass the A, B, and C keyways. As you go up the, the pyramid, it gives you further access. Again, we have many keyway families some are restricted and not shown here, like the V is in Victor Keyway, the VA, VB, VC, or the KA, KB, KC, but they follow the same pyramid. And the top master key would be the N, in this case, the LN. You can see on the very right hand side where they're called out as master keys. And in the bottom right hand corner, these are change keys and keyways. We do not make cylinders in the top level keyway, LN or LDH. We only make cylinders in the bottom nine keyways. Here's a good example coming up of how a change key operates a cylinder. Again, the, the cylinder is pinned such a way to work with this key 1AA. You can see the highlighted pin in the first chamber. Uh, the pin drops all the way down to meet the shear line on the top of that colored gold pin. That's your change key. There's a second key that will operate this which will be your master key, your AA. And as you see, as the key goes in, that, that master split in the first chamber is now raised up because the master key is different than the change key, comparing the two slides. For additional keying, again, give you additional pins in the cylinder, but additional shear lines to give uh, more limited access to different keys. All manufacturer cylinders use the same concept of principle and just more pins give you more access. Also we offer is 
a sergeant large format removable core shown on the left hand side with the bottom half of the cylinder bottom half of the figure eight is larger than the top half versus the small format with the top and the bottom of the equal size the sergeant large format is offered in six pin only and many of sergeant keyways the small format is only offered in a handful of keyways about a dozen of competitor keyways and two of sergeant unique keyways only available in small format the next slide shows the large format in a mortise cylinder. Again, the bottom half is larger than the top half. Also, by knowing the keyway, a lot of times we can determine the keyway or key system, small or large, by knowing the keyway. Because we don't offer, or no one offers the H Sergeant HA keyway in small format, only large format. Again, many finishes, many lengths, and um, the cap is uh, either bronze or, or stainless steel or brass. The large format shown by itself here, again, our HA is our standard keyway unless otherwise specified. And down below are some more, many more of our keyway families that some are not published, being restricted. They're here for training purposes only. Our next slide shows the Sergeant Large format. This happens to be our patented XC cylinder, where it has a unique tailpiece in the back with a plastic cap. <clears throat> when cylinders are ordered from Sergeant, you must always specify the control key if required separately, along with the registration number. Otherwise, we expect you to already have a control key for an existing system, thus we don't want to compromise it and send the key out when it's not needed. That's our, again, our large format with the control key. <clears throat> again, these can be master key to grandmaster key, we offer them one bidding for field keying. We always provide two key blanks or change keys. Um, and we, we only load, when they're one bidding, we only load chambers three and four only because <clears throat> they're gonna be taken apart and dumped out anyway. And that's our, our, again, our large format. Coming up will be a presentation of how our large format cylinder works. So you have your barrel, you have your body, you have a control sleeve in chambers three and four. And it's a control sleeve that locks the core into the housing. And only the control key activates or rotates that control sleeve. That's done with an additional share line with additional pins. So here are the change keys being inserted. Your change key is inserted, and you're going to open that door and go in. Same with a master key. It's only going to allow you to rotate that key and rotate the cam on the back of that, in this case, a mortise cylinder. Yeah, when a control key is inserted, you'll note the show line is much higher now, or different, where now it allows only the control sleeve to rotate, thus to allow you to remove retract that core out of that hardware and install a new or vice versa. Again, only the control key rotates that control sleeve, allows you to remove and install that removable core. <clears throat> for large format, we offer some options, especially for construction, we offer a 64 prefix, whereas quite often you don't want to issue out permanent master keys to the tradespeople so we offer a 64 prefix shown on the bottom of the page. We put a small dimple at around 11 o'clock, as you see there, and all these cores are key-alike, and the keys are given out to the tradespeople. When the job is turned over, that core is taken out and returned for credit, and the permanent core is installed. For all doors in a facility that don't require locking, for example, let's say uh, closets, we'll also, we can provide a 60 prefix, where we provide a disposable plastic construction core inside the hardware. Now here we show more to some rim cylinders, but we can do it in a key and lever lock set where a coin or screwdriver is used if the trades people need to, need to get into a closet or, or into a lock set. Thus, you're limiting the need to issue out construction master keys to everyone on the job site. So quite often just the perimeter doors are locked and maybe some unique doors interior for safety reasons, electrical supply rooms or whatnot. So our 60 prefix, 63 and 64 are used <clears throat> with the hardware. 
These are some of the cams for our large format. As you notice, there are no screws. These are riveted on at the factory. Uh, these must be ordered with the hardware, or with the lock set, at time of entry, or order entry. We have our standard cam upper left-hand corner, the 115 for a hotel function, and our optional cams, whether it be a Schlegel 9000, our key switch, <clears throat> or the inside of a 16 to 92 function mortise lock. Again, we do not sell these cams separately. They have to be ordered uh, with the hardware, installed with, with the mortar cylinder installed. Again, our 60 prefix is a plastic core, 64 is a construction core. And 63 is the permanent core installed when the job is completely done. And all too often, the, the permanent, the key details aren't known when they're ordering hardware, you know, many months before the building's gonna be turned over. But a 64 fix is a very, Greatly used. Here's our hotel mortise cylinder. This is uh, again used in typically in bathrooms today, <clears throat> and uh, it uses a longer emergency key to activate the uh, deadbolt in the event that someone's in that bathroom and they had a, a health issue and need emergency help. That's called the emergency key, and uh, we sell this for only for use in sergeant mortise locks. A Sergeant 8250 or 7850. Here's a unique tool to help you install the cylinder housing into the hardware. Again, the cylinders are solid brass, uh, the lock set, the X device could be steel or some other material. This helps you to install the mortar cylinder, thread it in, and also to test the cylinder, its operation in the hardware. Once it's installed, the tool is taken out, turned around, reinserted in those two holes are going to act like the, the cylinder or the barrel of the of this core allows you to rotate that and rotate the cam and retract the latch or open the door and the 432 rc is used for removal of a core we offer another one called a 432 ic for interchangeable core the removable core um pinning uh is a little unique again we saw that control c earlier control of our sleeve and it uses an additional keying kit these are unique drivers only using chambers three and four, we call them hollow. Now we have a unique kit, it's probably the size of a VCR tape and it's half full or half empty depending on how you look at it. And these, <clears throat> these drivers are hollowed out and use a different spring. And the reason being is because that control sleeve uses an additional key to operate it, there is a uh, larger stack height of 20. So we have to make room for that extra pin in there or pins. So that's why we have these unique hollow drivers the actual spring will fit down inside slightly. And that's the 437 RC, which is in our quick ship turbo program. As far as small format, again, we manufacture about uh, these here in New Haven. We have about 12 or 13 uh, competitor keyways, sometimes called Arrow or Best or Falcon keyways. Uh, we can mash the key in here. We can tie an exist. We can tie into an existing key systems. Just need the Benny list. And um, we have two of our own keyways, Sergeant 4A and 4B. If uh, one is not specified, we'll use our own keyway, as you see there. Again, these are offered in six pin and seven pin. And these are available in most of Sergeant hardware, lock sets, mortise locks, uh, key and knob lock sets. And they're the best keyways, A, B, C, and so on. Just like we offer the um, construction core with the large format, we do the same for small format. It'd be a 72 prefix. So that building under construction, we get a, we get a temporary six pin construction core uh, for the tradespeople, uh, for the doors that need to be locked, for the doors that don't need to be secured, we can provide a 70 prefix, which provides a plastic construction core, uses a corner screwdriver to rotate to gain access. And when the job is done, the permanent core is supplied uh, in 73 dash, and um, thus securing the, the building owner's key system. Here is the seven pin cylinder, just slightly longer. The catalog number would be a 73-7P. And again, we do offer unassembled for field keying, it'd be a 65-73. And of course the uh, core itself, 65-737P. Uh, and again, specify the keyway and the finish of course. We offer two size mortar cylinders, a size 43, inch and three eighths, and a size 46, inch and three quarters, and of course a rim cylinder, number 34. 
These cams are also driven onto the back of the cylinders. You cannot be changed in the field. We do not sell parts for them. They have to be ordered with the appropriate cam. When cylinders are provided less uh, hardware or, core, or cylinders by themselves, we include the number 97 collar. And here's the other um, tool that's unique to the small format called the 432 IC. Again, used to install and test the uh, mortise cylinder inside the hardware uh, in, in function of lock set. As far as patents, um, patents are, are, are granted to a product that's unique and has useful purpose. In this case, to uh, utility patents for sorbent new cylinders to protect the um, owner of a building, a facility owner, knowing that he cannot go out and get a key made at a true value or Home Depot. We offer a number of options of patented products, again, to provide a security um, system so as um, there's no compromise to the key system. There's a pyramid of security here at Sargent. On the bottom are open conventional keyways, like your LA and RA keyways. Moving up the ladder, you have patented cylinders like your degree one XC. Moving up, more secure cylinders, your degree two signature KISO. And the uh, high security, your, your degree three new L KISO cylinders as well is uh, the top of the pyramid of security options from Sargent. As of March of this year, Sargent will no longer start new signature key systems. Again, we will support and manufacture signature um, forever, but for existing new systems, we'd rather go with a patented product, whether it be KISO, <clears throat> uh, Degree, and or XC, or a new key system. Here's our signature series cylinder. You can see the it's a mortar cylinder shown here. And just to the left of the keyway, we identify it with a quill or a feather. That's our logo for the product. that will be on every cylinder and every key. These are always six pin. This includes an additional share line uh, for the um, signature cylinder. And the good thing about signature is the signature key, which is higher security, would also operate a non-signature cylinder. So you can mix a higher security cylinder on your perimeter doors and for the broom closet, have some value added features and use a non-signature cylinder at a cost savings and have the same master key operate both doors. Here's a snapshot, an explorative view of the signature cylinder where we take a conventional key, whether it be LA or RA, add dimples to the key. These dimples move from job to job and they're different depths. And they correspond to side pins within the barrel or the plug of the cylinder. And they work with two blocking bars that are in the bottom of the barrel at both uh, seven and five o'clock. So when the proper key is put in, those blocking bars that normally lock into those grooves at seven and five o'clock, we're then free to rotate up into the barrel. So it gives you two additional share lines, given a very secure cylinder. These keys, our signature keys are cut in conventional standard machines. Uh, they can be duplicated, but we always recommend cutting by code. Uh, <clears throat> but again, you cut it like a normal sergeant key, whether it be LA or RA, or signature or non-signature. And the dimples come from the factory, as shown here. Here's your signature painting kit. It's very similar to the standard conventional keying kit, has a few additional parts in it at the same cost. These are available in our one week turbo program. Um, so I always recommend to buy the 437S kit. You get a, free extra, a few extra parts, <clears throat> no extra cost, and you may need those someday. Here's our XC series cylinder. This is another patented option from Sargent. We take a conventional cylinder, and we added features to it to gain a patent on it. And you'll see the key has the XC logo on it in the bow above the word Sargent. And these will work conventional cylinders and the, the XC cylinder as well. So you could have an existing key system, let's say in an RA keyway, and upgrade that to an XC key system where the keys cannot be easily duplicated in the field. Yet the, the XC master key will operate conventional um, RA cylinders that have been there for years. So rather than replace a, a whole key system in the school's district or school, you just replace a few perimeter door cylinders and then add key control to your facility and only issue out XE keys to those that need them. This is an explorative view. Here's a mortise cylinder, but this shows the uh, key and lever cylinder. It shows a barrel, 
<clears throat> and it shows the XC key, and it has a notch inside it. And we add a, a side pin, just in between the first and second chamber of the barrel or plug, and that, <clears throat> that side pin locks into that small hole within the body there. So if the, key, if the cylinder was totally empty of pins and springs, that barrel or plug would not rotate unless an XC key, X key, key was inserted, and that is an internal mechanism would then allow that pin to drop out of that hole in that body, allow that key to rotate. This is factory installed. It will not come apart. If you want to repin the cylinder, there's no worries there. And the key comes from Sargent with that XC feature milled into it. Our next slide show, shows, again, <clears throat> here's the XC key. <clears throat> we machine the tip of the key, we machine further back. Easily cut in conventional machines. Again, we always recommend uh, cutting by code. We offer the XC cylinder with many options. Uh, for example, 21 dash, which is our lost ball key for construction key. We offer the mortise cylinder in a number of different sizes from a 41 up to a size 56, <coughs> excuse me, for a thick door applications, which is a three inch long cylinder. The 21 prefix also offered in conventional cylinders shown here is where we will take a conventional cylinder, whereas um, they opt not to use a removable core or a construction core, whereas we can add little ball bearings within one of the chambers of a cylinder one of the six uh, chambers, and those ball bearings will act like an additional shear line shown there. So the locks will ship out, they'll be installed. The installer will then get a construction master key. That will operate all the cylinders on the job site. When the job is done, the change key, <clears throat> which is then used, then puts the balls, as shown in the bottom left-hand corner, right on top of the shear line. And as the cylinder is rotated, or key is rotated, <clears throat> excuse me, those ball bearings will fall into a pre-drilled pocket on either side of that chamber. Here's shown on, on the left-hand side. The key is then returned back, and the balls will stay in that pocket forever. Now, if that construction master key were to come back, it would no longer operate, because the, that sure line was taken out of that uh, matrix, uh, the, the key bidding array. And again, we offer this in both conventional cylinders, XC, signature, and also in degree. And XC is offered in a large format as well. Again, we offer 11-60, gives you a plastic construction core. 11-63 gives you the permanent core. And 11-64 <clears throat> gets you the construction core and the hardware. Our small format, again, <clears throat> offered in XC. We only offer in two key ways here, though. 11-70 you know, gives you the uh, plastic construction core. 11-72 gives you the construction key construction core those areas they do want to secure and the permanent core would, would be ordered with the hardware as prefix is 11-73-7p. <clears throat> inside the um, inside that degree uh, XC cylinder again we saw that side pin mechanism. In the case of uh, large format and small format that side pin is in the, the barrel or, or the plug in such a place whereas um, the two holes in the back of the core must be shorter or shallow to make room for that side pin. So what we have to do is shorten those holes in the back, at the same time shorten the pins in the case of a mortise cylinder or rim cylinder as shown here. So for large format, if you have older hardware more than let's say eight years old, and you wanna upgrade it, you may have to modify those two pins by shortening them. We offer a tool for that. And the tools inserted inside that housing it's so again for sergeant mortise and rim only, and the, the tool is rotated, the yellow handle, and we then shear off that pin. Now to accept that XC patented uh, large format core with the shallow, uh, shallow holes in the back. And the same uh, would apply to small format. We have a separate tool for that. Again, you can see in the upper right hand corner where that side pin takes place within the body or plug, in the case of a large format, small format, it's in the same place where those two holes are in the back. So we must shorten those holes. 
So the hardware for XC removable core is ordered a little differently with the 1170 or 72 prefixes. <clears throat> this here is our Kiso cylinder F1. Um, <clears throat> Kiso is now a sister company of Sargent for the last maybe eight or 10 years now. Prior to that, we were licensed through Kiso, a Swiss company, to make Kiso for the North American market. We had a partnership, and um, that was original Kiso, came out many years ago, and that patent ran out, unfortunately. <clears throat> now that they're a sister company, um, we're on the next generation called Kiso F1, whereas the Kiso uh, F1 is an added feature, they gain a patent on it, so no one can legally copy or duplicate that key, unauthorized, of course. And the left shows the original Kiso key, and the right shows the Kiso F1, where it's stamped F1 on the Kiso blank. And what makes the Kiso unique is, we take the cylinder, in this case a mortar cylinder, we made the head of the barrel much thicker on the front of the cylinder. We put a slot at 12 to six. And what we do with the Kiso key now, circled in red, we machine that so that Kiso key would fit down within that slot. If you were to attempt to install a regular Kiso key into that cylinder, it won't go in far enough, so the pins make their uh, share lines and then rotate. So the Kiso key <clears throat> is, a, again, cylinder is a patented cylinder, and it is unique, and it is backwards compatible. The F1 key would operate an original Kiso cylinder. For those with original Kiso systems, they can upgrade their facilities. In some cases, that's by replacing a few exterior cylinders and stopping any loss keys from getting back in the building. Again, key control is very important, and that's when some kind of system or management system should go into place as far as key control. And this is our F1 Kiso here. The Kiso cylinder is a very unique cylinder, whereas uh, this has 12 pins, where our nor normal key and knob, key and lever has six pins. So this has, instead of a, a bank of six pins on top, as we saw in the previous slides, the Kiso has a bank on top of four pins, a bank on the left of four pins, and a bank on the right with four more pins. For total of 12 pins. So it's a very strong key. It's uh, non-handed. It's six-sided, believe it or not. And uh, in the bottom right-hand corner shows you a six-pin cylinder. You can see the limitations we have with the different combinations of a six-pin cylinder and only gain tremendous amount of yield having a 12-pin cylinder. We offer this in most uh, Sargent products as far as the Kiso F1, whether it be rim cylinders, key and knob, uh, mortar cylinders, and uh, we offer it also in, again, conventional, which would be an F182 prefix. And uh, we also offer it in removable core as well, uh, in mortars and rim cylinders, you see here. This is an exploded view, again, <clears throat> of the uh, exploded view of the Kiso cylinder. Again, your Kiso key. Here's your cap. Uh, could be stainless steel, brass, or bronze. Goes onto your, uh, your body. There's a sleeve in your cylinder body with a cam on it. You can see the 12 pins with the three banks, left, top, and center. Very, very unique key, very strong key. Our next slide slows our, our latest, uh, how would I say, uh, lineup for the Sergeant Key System is Degree. This came out just a number of few years ago, and the patent expired in 2027. <clears throat> and we offer three levels of it where you can mix and match standard security high security and ultra high security with degree one, two, and three. We offer this, uh, of course, the new master key systems. It's a new family of keyways. It starts with a T, like a TA, TB, TC. Uh, <clears throat> and we offer it also in large format removable core. We will continue to maintain all our other key systems that are out there, whether it be uh, a five pin system from the 50s or 40s <clears throat> to a system developed in the 70s, 80s, or even even yesterday, that's not degree. We'll continue to support all key systems. It's a very cost-effective key system, whereas we can blend standard security up the ladder to degree two and degree three. Where degree three is your ultra-high security, which is UL-437, which is drill and pick resistant. Again, this shows you again with the uh, security lineup here of, of key systems. Um, open legacy in the bottom. As you go up the ladder, uh, degree two, signature Kiso, and then degree three in the very top of the pyramid uh, that are UL listed 437.
again, offer the mortise cylinders, rim cylinders, key and knob, key and lever, um, large format removable core. Uh, we offer cylinders for, uh, <clears throat> with some optional cams for uh, other competitors' products, whether it be an Adams Wright 1850 lock set. Again, these are all six pin, uh, they are bump resistant, and uh, the uh, degree has a sidebar inside it, movable core, uh, shown on the opposite side of this, this view. Uh, again, brand new keyways, brand new pins as well. And the keys are cut different than a Sergeant LA or RA key system. So it's a brand new key system. It's a utility patent, goes to 2027. It's a much thicker key. We have procedures and policies in place to protect the, uh, the key system uh, as far as the owner. The, uh, again, letters of authorization required to uh, purchase additional key blanks or cylinders. Key systems are only assigned to the end user. They're not assigned to distributors or uh, uh, wholesalers. So again, it's the uh, end user we're protecting and that's who the key system is assigned to. We do require a different uh, document, system information document or SID form for all brand new systems. So we document who the end user is, where they're located, who they're authorized to buy keys. So as we <clears throat> don't have any unauthorization of uh, so keys or key blanks um, supplied. This is again, a kept on file with Sergeant and uh, we wanna maintain the integrity of the key system. For degree two and three, which are higher security, <clears throat> there's a uh, how many security codes that are assigned and supplied after every order to the authorized persons. So the next time they go to order from Sergeant, they need to have that code. You can't opt out of that. We, we hope you do not. You'll see in the very bottom of the form. These are all available on our website. <clears throat> um, but again, um, we're here to sell security, keep everybody safe. Um, but some people um, choose to opt out of that option of having a signature for every every uh, degree key system order. Um, but again, leave that option to opt out of it. And these are again, maintained or monitored. Um, if anything's not, not uh, how would I say, uh, being authorized, we, we locate our appropriate DSS rep and we follow up with the local uh, Asa Abloy salespeople. The degree two and three cylinders are even a more unique or higher security cylinder where they have a sidebar and a slider. And also the uh, pins, uh, bottom pins are angled. So that means the keys are cut with angled cuts, either center, left or right, making a very unique cylinder and key system. So again, it's uh, not your father's key system, they would say. So the keys are cut much different. Um, <coughs> The head will then rotate to the appropriate angles. Easily done. Again, we offer geographic exclusivity, uh, depending on your needs, whether you're a local utility or uh, end user. Uh, we have ways of managing that as well. As far as the DG3, <clears throat> as you see the cylinder here, it says our, our logo on top, has our logo, uh, is that the degree or half radius on very top, and the UL mark on the plug. <clears throat> the UL mark uh, identifies it being UL 437 listed, whereas we provided samples, United Laboratories, <clears throat> and do a uh, series of drill and, and pick resistant tests, um, it, it passed the test by adding um, features within that cylinder make it harder to pick, drill, and break in. Here you can see an exploded view of some of the features we add, where <clears throat> with the mouse, we're highlighting the um, hardened steel discs uh, within the body, so someone can't drill the soft brass body into the pins. So there's hardened steel discs that are inserted into the body prior to the plug being installed. The, uh, this is also offered in Sergeant uh, large format removable core, 
And again, you gotta remember though, when you take a large format removable quarter cylinder, you must order the housing, whether it be mortar or serim, also to, to be uh, a degree three housing. We also wanna modify that housing by making it stronger for uh, someone to drill uh, into that mortise housing. So they have, they have to be ordered with the DG3 prefix as well to get that mortise or rim housing as well. Again, just some of the tools they use, part of the UL test of UL 437. Again, the degree one is a degree key, which um, you sell many key systems and well, quite often they'll blend um, a degree system, perhaps a police station or a hospital, they'll put degree cylinders on uh, many, degree one on many on the, uh, lock sets. But for those higher security areas, like in a casino, a money count room, we'll upgrade that to a degree three for drilling pitch resistant. At the same time, you wanna think about your total opening. You wanna make sure you don't have a window in that door. Whereas why put a high security cylinder on it if you can break a window, reach in and turn your lever. Or again, it's the total open you want to think about, you know, NRP hinges, uh, anti-vandal trim at the same time, the, the back door of a loading dock at a mall perhaps might be vulnerable to attack. So uh, you got to think the total opening when you think of higher security, not just the cylinder. And we have many options for that, whether it be an X device or mortise lock, we have those anti-vandal uh, trims as well to complement the degree three cylinder. The degree three uh, cylinder or degree two will also operate a degree one cylinder. So in your facility of broom closet, cylinder dogging, why spend the money on a broom closet or cylinder dogging or a mullion where your, your threat is your perimeter doors? So <clears throat> your perimeter doors would be degree three and just those master keys that need to be, if you issue on a degree three uh, key, we will also operate with degree one cylinders on the inside of the building. So you can mix and match high security with standard security and also value engineer the key system for the, to the customer's budget needs. And a DG1 key system will not operate in a DG2 or a DG3 cylinder. Good point. You're right. A DG1 key will not insert into a GDG2 or GG3 cylinder. Again, the DG2 and 3 have the angle pins. The DG1 cylinder have the straight pins. The DG1 key will not even go in and operate it. Thank you. What we're showing you here is that you can get degree in all three levels as a conventional cylinder. You can get it with loss ball by specifying 21 dash. You can also get it with plastic disposable cores. And then once again, you're gonna be, because it's lar Sergeant's large format interchangeable core, it's a 60 dash. If you're ordering it for the final product, it would be a DG1, DG2 or DG3, 63 dash is your final product. If you want construction cores, during the construction phase, that's gonna be a 64 dash. And just so you know, they are gonna be using the same um, the same plugs or the, the same cores that you would be using with a standard large format interchangeable core cylinder. And once again, you can get them uncombinated. Here we're just showing you a visual difference between the DG1 key. It is slightly thinner and will have more of a brass color while DG2 and DG3 keys are slightly thicker and they're more pale in color because they are nickel silver. If you look at the two cylinders themselves, DG1 and DG2 cylinders, visually there is no difference. DG3 will have a UL symbol on it, identifying it as being UL 437. And once again, degree is available with rim cylinders, more cylinders, key and lever, and sergeant's large format interchangeable core. Degree is a factory-based system and all systems are developed and maintained by Sergeant Manufacturing. And once again, degree key system, it's a six pin system and you're supplied with two nickel silver key standard. And if you've ever wondered what nickel silver is, nickel silver is copper, nickel, and zinc. And it's called nickel silver because of its silverish appearance. None of Sargent's conventional keys, keyways will work with degree, so it's a brand new keyway. As Rob mentioned in the beginning, it's the brand new T keyway, and there's no weak cut points in this. And we've gone through this already. Rob's gone through the master, uh, the different keyways that are available for it. And once again, DG1, they're cut straight. DG2 and DG3 keys 
are cut at angles, either right, left, or center. So you do need special key machines for this. And what are the advantages of angled keys? It limits key cutting to professionals and those authorized to cut the keys, keeping, those, keeping this task away from those who have no concern for security. It is a brand new key system. That our key kit that we offer for this, it is the degree. And once again, it is available with interchangeable core. The temporary cores are unrelated to the final degree system because you're using existing 6300 cores for this. And once again, you can get this with 21 dash, which is the loss ball. In this case here, we're calling it the loss wafer. During the construction phase, the wafers are below the shear line. Once you put in the first change key, which is the standard key they'll be using on the building, the uh, the wafers go above the shear line and then they fall into the side pocket, just like the ball bearings did, as Rob mentioned earlier. And then once it falls into the slide side slot, it no longer affects it. So the con construction master keys will no longer operate it, the cylinder. Degree is available across the board with all of our different types. And one type of lubricant we do recommend for our cylinders, and that's gonna be the Asa Lube. And just one last thing we want to show you, and Rob was emphasizing this, that this is required for all keying orders. And th it's this form right here, Rob. Yeah, this is a keyed order lead sheet for all sergeant keyed orders. And it's also a good checklist. The, and not, it may not, may not all apply, but as you go across this, it's in the, it's in the catalog, a price book that is on our website. And um, key records requires us for all keyed orders. Again, who's the distributor? Uh, end user, uh, number of master keys, change keys, uh, any specific key way you want. A very good checklist. It's required for all key orders. And Rob was telling me, we need to show you where this is located. So when you go to the Sergeant website, you're going to go under support. So you're going to click on support. That's going to bring you up to this page. Once you're on this page, you want to go for key system support. That's your next link. Once you click on that, that's gonna bring up this page here. And down here is where the order forms are. So once you click on the order forms, this is the form that's required and it's the key order lead sheet. And that brings us to the end of our presentations. We're gonna open this up to see if there's any questions. Rob, thank you very, very much for your time today. We appreciate you sharing your knowledge and understanding of cylinders with us. Thank you. Let's see if we have any questions at this point. At this point, there are no questions, but we will leave it open in case there are any questions for a few moments. But Rob, thank you very much. We appreciate your years of experience at Sargent's. And if you probably weren't aware of this, but, Sar but Rob Shanley is actually talking to you from the Sargent factory in New Haven, Connecticut today. The factory is fully functional. Everyone does have to wear a mask. They're being very, very careful but they are continuing to manufacture our products in New Haven. So it doesn't look like we have any questions, Rob. So that's gonna bring us to the end of our presentation. Thanks, Russ. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day and stay healthy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.